kit you got on there, Rod? 8 inch F4 Newt. Now, my, my imaging scope for this weekend, and I've oh. also got the quad put on it just in case I want to go on a trip. What have you got on there then, Chris? On here today, on the telescope, on the mountain up today, we have the world famous Takahashi FSQ85, one of the world's most expensive pieces of small glass. Dave Truen's finest sharp sky focuser. What are you hoping to shoot this weekend? Anything. <laughs> <laughs> we have Matic Puffer Access Guider, the Starlight Express Lodestar camera to guide it with. An Attic 5 position, 8 position filter there with 36mm unmounted filters and the famous Attic 383 which is now done the best part of 20,000 exposures. All sat on top and I tried and trusted EQ6 Pro. And if it all works when I turn it on, I will be chuffed to this. Photos, anything I can catch. I don't know yet, depends what it is. What, um, you got no targets in mind? No. Right. Just like, whatever drifts overhead, yeah? Just that. Sounds good to me. Sorry, mate. Yeah, sorry, mate. <laughs> it's lovely and sunny. Beautiful weather. Solar. Yeah, the, the, so, Nigel's got his solar scope over there. We're yeah, just going to have a look at it. Terrific views. It's so clear <laughs> last night, mate. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's right. We missed a really good night. Milky Way, horizon to horizon. Yeah. Stunning. And it's going to be the same again and tonight, tonight yep. and tomorrow. I've got loads of crabbies for you, but. We're going to have to drink them ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> see you, Si. See you, Si. What do you hope to capture this weekend? I would quite like to do the Leo trip there. Yeah. But I've got a horrible feeling it's going to be behind that tree. <laughs>